Hello there, Battlecats players. My name is Chance, and welcome to my guide. Today we have <sighs> kind of a weird cat in store for us. Not so much weird in terms of the cat itself, but weird in terms of how to best use him. Today we're going to be talking about Thief Cat. Now, this rare cat can be unlocked by playing the rare cat capsules. And as always, it is my hope that by really exploring everything there is to know about Thief Cat, you can ultimately make a more informed decision on to how to best use him in your lineups, as well as how far to invest into him, if at all. Starting out with Thief Cat's evolutions, it's pretty common for really all of the rear cats. Starting out with Thief Cat, whose description reads, moves fast, steals faster, more money earned when defeating an enemy. Then at level 10, it turns into Phantom Thief Cat, moves too fast, still steals the same, has a large treasure collection now, more money earned when defeating an enemy. And then it true forms into Geomon Cat, Bandit of Legend, last seen in Old Japan fighting against the Shogun's Tyranny, slips extra money out of enemy pockets with each area attack. Now then, let's take a look at a brief overview of Thief Cat. Starting out with its class, Thief Cat is considered to be a melee unit, which is any unit that has a range between 1 and 249. Under pros, you have fast attack rate and animation, decent health, moderate recharge time, cheap to produce, high DPS in true form, and area attack in true form as well. Under cons, you have low damage per hit, low range, and single target in the normal and evolved form. Under other considerations, this is one of the cats that actually gains double money when defeating an enemy. Granted, they have to be the one to defeat the enemy, and that's usually where the complications with this particular trait start. However, this is one of the few traits that can't be disabled with curse, so that's kind of interesting. Now then, let's talk strategy and check out some gameplay for Thief Cat. First and foremost, let's actually touch on cost here. Chapter 1, this unit will cost 330 cents. Chapter 2, 495. Chapter 3, 660 which is actually pretty dang cheap for the stats you get out of this unit. Now, Thief Cat actually has a pretty interesting strategy for most stages, and it ultimately stems down to economy. So, Thief Cat is a very cost-effective unit with decent stats and gets you extra money from enemies. So, generally, how you want to play is you want to send out almost exclusively Thief Cats, maybe a couple Meat Shields, but predominantly Thief Cats at the beginning of a stage. What this lets you do is it lets you kill off all of the very, very early and on honestly pretty weak enemies and get double money from them. This, of course, allows you to save up much faster, which allows you to get better units on the field earlier or upgrade your Worker Cat. And in theory, if you play efficiently enough, you might actually be able to build up a stack of Thief Cats. And a Thief Cat stack can actually do some pretty decent and reliable damage. The only kind of downside to that stack is the range. We've brought it up on this channel quite a few times, but ultimately Battle Cats is a game where range is usually the most important stat. As if you can outrange your enemy, they can never really hit you without you hitting them, and vice versa. So to have a melee unit on the field like Thief Cat, even a stack of them, it's not always the most survivable stack, for lack of a better term. As a result, generally, as soon as those kind of weaker peons stop coming out and the enemy's main force comes out, you're gonna want to stop using Thief Cat for the most part. There is an argument to be made that maybe peppering a few thief cats out here and there isn't a bad idea, as if they steal a kill, then it'll make up for its own cost. And that's fair enough. I do think that particular mentality is very stage dependent. If there's only like one or two enemies that are outranging thief cat, sure, but if it's the majority of them, I don't think this would be worth it. Thief Cat can also be pretty important on rusher stages, essentially doing the same strategy I learned earlier will allow you to get much more money for rusher units. So certain timed stages could reap a lot of benefit from employing Thief Cat. However, in Cat Claw Dojo, he's pretty much useless because you don't get money from enemy drops there obviously, so not really much of a point to have him on the team. Now, once you true form him, Geomon becomes much, much better, really due to the first area attack, but also he gets a pretty good increase in attack power and range as well. 
And this actually makes him a pretty viable unit just on money tight stages in general. He's at a really good cost for what he brings to the table and the ability to get extra money, especially early on in rounds, which is still predominantly when you're going to want to rely on him, make him a very good economical choice. While he's really still not good enough to make general squad, even in his true form, I do think on certain money tight stages, his use case is pretty prominent. And because of that, as long as he's matched up pretty well versus favorable enemies as far as range is concerned, I actually think he could do pretty good. Now then let's quickly focus on cat combos here. Firstly, the gentleman combo. This is a worker cat max up of the small variety involving gentleman cat and phantom thief cat and increases wallet size by 10%. Generally, I think these are really trashy. I don't really see the benefit to the wallet size increases. I mean, maybe if you, for whatever reason you haven't upgraded it in the shop and you want to save up for a unit that you can't ordinarily afford, then maybe, but outside of that, it's just kind of meh. Up next, we have Big Game Hunter. This is a unit speed up involving Little Giraffe Cat and Phantom Thief Cat, and it increases cat's movement speed by 10%. This I actually think is a very, very good combo for anyone building a rusher squad. As while Lil Giraffe Cat isn't the best rusher in the game, he still has decent movement speed, and as I outlined earlier, one of the strategies for rusher stages is to send out Thief Cat fairly early on, collecting all the money from the peons, and then using that money to just spam the heck out of your rusher units. So seeing as how he's already likely to be on the team, I actually think this combo makes a lot of sense. And because of that, it's pretty good. There also aren't a ton of cat movement speedups in the game. There are a few, but there's not a ton of them. So I actually do think this has a place in the meta. As far as cat fruits go, you're going to need three green seeds, which can be obtained every Monday, three red seeds, which can be obtained every Wednesday, two blue seeds, which can be obtained every Thursday, one green fruit, which can be obtained every Monday, one purple fruit, which can be obtained every Tuesday, and 200,000 XP to true form into Geomon Cat. Now I'm just going to read out some trivia while flashing you some of the charts and graphs pertaining to Thief Cat. Phantom Thief Cat is likely a reference to Arsene Lupin, a fictional gentleman created by a French author Maurice Leblanc in 1905. I wonder if that's actually what Lupin is based off of as well from the anime series. Maybe, I don't know. Phantom Thief Cat may also be a reference to the Phantom Thief Kato Korba from the Magic Kato series, his signature weapon, his cards as a magician. He has a card shooting gun and he always warns people before he robs them using cards or some gimmick. Geomon Cat is a reference to Ishikawa Geomon, a famous Japanese bandit from the Warring States period. The line inside of its box can't become four dimensional. In Geomon Cat's Japanese description, it may be a reference to Doraemon, who has a four dimensional pouch that he uses to store various gadgets. All very interesting stuff indeed. Although, wasn't there also like a, a Sailor Moon character named Phantom Thief? And also like a similarly designed character in Metabots, if any of you remember that? You know, like that kind of like weird pseudo robot anime, not like mechas or anything, but like actual just like robots and they kind of do like Beyblade style battles. Like the main character was called like Metabee or something. I don't know if anyone else but me remembers this, but yeah, I don't know. I remember there being like a similar character in that too. Now then, let's talk about talents. As far as available talents go, there's Attack Up, which adds a 51% attack power at 33% health, increasing by 11% per level up to 150% for a total NP cost of 95. Zombie Killer for 50 NP. Defense and Attack Buff, which increase the respective traits by 2% per level up to 20% for a total NP cost of 75 each. And Movement Speed Up, which increases movement speed by 1% per level up to a total of 10, total cost of 75 NP. Now, as far as Geomon's talents go, all of these are actually really good, with maybe the exception of Zombie Killer. That being said, you're gonna want to invest pretty heavily into this cat just to get him to fairly good viability. That not only includes getting him to a pretty high level, but you're gonna definitely want to get both defense and attack buff, and movement speed is probably actually his most important trait or talent rather to invest in as this will just make him much better at clearing up those early game peons and it'll make him much more viable on rusher stages. Now, attack up can make a lot of sense as well, especially after you've invested into his defense buff. 
Zombie Killer is kind of up for debate. Personally, I find that there are much better Zombie Killer units in the game that you get access to at roughly the same rarity as Thief Cat. That being said, however, if you are struggling with money on zombie stages, which would be fairly understandable, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get him this trait just to essentially do what he always does, clear up those early game mobs, and then um, kind of pepper the rest, right? Ultimately, let me know what you guys think down beneath in the comments section, and hopefully you guys will provide some good advice as well. Now that you know what I think about Thief Cat, let's hear what all of you had to say about him. Courier Cat says, number one, best cat in the game. I think he's being a little bit facetious when he says that. Bee Eater says, best cat, hands down, all in caps. And I think he may be a little bit less facetious in this case. And Shadow Knight 2485 says, NP. What I'm assuming he means by this is he just turns Thief Cat into NP and uses him as kind of cannon fodder to upgrade his other units. And, well, I'm not really going to tell you that's the wrong approach. I guess it depends what units you have. I would say at least true forming him is pretty useful. Maybe if you decide to invest into him, if you're having money difficulties, that would make sense. But if you aren't, I mean, I guess there's not really much of a need for him. And naturally, if you would like to be featured in this part of the video, feel free to check out our community tab and comment on the relevant posts. And that's really about all there is to say about Thief Cat. If I missed anything or overlooked anything or just explained anything badly, please correct me down beneath in the comments section. I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know what your experience has been like with Thief Cat so far. I'm really looking forward to hearing what you all have to say. And don't forget to like and subscribe for Cat God's Blessing in your next gotcha roll. Thank you for watching until this point, And as always, I'll be talking to you guys soon.